So I wanted to point out a few things about the eraser tool which aren't exactly intuitive. You'll notice that in this GIMP document that I have only a background layer. Now the thing about default background layers in GIMP is that they do not by default actually have a transparency layer. And without a transparency layer, what will happen if you use the eraser tool is that you will actually draw onto the document with the background color. So what you end up getting is that rather than actually erasing part of your document and filling it with transparency, um, you end up just drawing with the background color using the same brush stroke as if you were using the paintbrush tool. Now that's usually not what you're going to want. So if you ever run into that issue, then you can right click on the layer you're trying to erase from and then do add alpha channel. By doing that, it allows your layer to have partial transparency. So now I can take the eraser tool and take my brush strokes and erase from the document, which is what you would usually expect the eraser to do. Now an interesting thing about the fact that the eraser tool effectively just uses the paintbrush tool is that you can actually erase with the patterns that you can select for the paintbrush tool as well. So if you wanted to, you could come down here to something like pencil scratch as your brush and you can erase with that same pattern. So I can left click there and I'm still erasing part of the layer, but now I'm doing it with a interesting pattern. So I can keep clicking there or I can increase the spacing and kind of have that done automatically. So I'll just kind of take that and erase a little bit away from our document. Um, now you might wonder why you would want to do this. Well, one instance I could think of is rather than just completely erasing something, you want to let some of the background layer show through. So if I create a new layer here, and uh, we will fill it with transparency, I'll just leave its name as layer. I'm going to drag it below background so that it's actually hiding behind. And then I'm going to fill this entire layer with the paint bucket tool. So using the active foreground color, I click there and I fill the layer. And now everywhere I erased from the background layer, which is actually on top, can now be filled with whatever's behind it on the background layer because that's what the alpha transparency allows to happen. It removes the data from the current layer but allows any behind layers to show through. So, and now rather than ever having to redraw any of these little lines here, I could simply recolor the background layer and have any color I choose to show through on those regions that have that transparency. But aside from that, 9 out of 10 times, you're just going to be using the eraser tool with a standard hardness brush, such as up here, hardness 75 or hardness 100. And you go to the layer you want, and then you just kind of erase with it. But you can see that because that background layer is still showing there, uh, that when it erases, whatever's behind it actually shows through. So if I didn't want that to show through, and I just wanted it to be completely transparent, then you can just hide or delete any underlying layers. And that's basically the eraser tool in a nutshell, so pretty straightforward. And that's going to be it for this quick video on the eraser tool.